Hi, I'm Eugene, and today we will craft a simple local UI for the DeepSeq R1 model like this. Uh, here I send a simple prompt request and see the result streaming token by token, rendering it in real time in the UI. It's thinking, thinking, let's wait a couple of seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here we are, maybe not perfect, but it works. So how do we do that? Uh, first, you need to run Alama, which is completely free and open source. Uh, also, you need to download the DeepSeq R1 model before starting. Uh, now, let's code the UI application itself. Uh, first, uh, we need to import stream rate, requests, and JSON. Let's import it. Uh, then we need to define the base URL for your local Alava server and model name. And now let's write a Kafka function to generate text streaming, which takes the prompt and the model as input parameters. Uh, then, then uh, define the URL and point where we send our request. Uh, set the headers to specify it that we are sending JSON data, prepare the request data, then inside the try block, send a post request to Alama with our data. If something uh, goes wrong, write an error, create an empty string to, to store the full response and create a placeholder in streaming to update the response dynamically. And next, um, we need to write a for loop to process the response stream, like for chunk in response. And let's see how to complete. Let's rewrite it. Uh, okay, if there is data in the chunk, process it while checking that done is true. Uh, okay, handling exceptions and return the full generated response. Show, show your message if there is an issue with the request. And then now let's create the main function for our streaming stimulate application and let's rewrite. Uh, if you receive a response, uh, we can display something like, okay, let's rewrite this section. If response, then display something like done for example, and if the user doesn't enter anything, show a warning. Okay, finally, we need to add if main, oh, sorry, not, not main, if name is equal main, then run our main function. Now let's start our stream read application, run the command uh, stream read run main.py and now let's see the UI again. Let's try a simple math task and see if it works. Let's generate. Okay, uh, it is thinking, reasoning, as you can see, and uh, it is streaming each token in real time dire directly into the UI. Let's let's wait. Simple. And
And as you can see, it is reasoning. And final answer. Let's wait a couple of seconds. Here is the result. Now uh, let's commit our changes and push them to the open source GitHub project. Let's write commit line feed init commit and let's push it. Okay, uh, it's published. Now you can run this code locally on your machine. Here's it. Okay, uh, thank you for watching. Feel free to follow me on GitHub, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you have any questions, leave a comment or raise an issue ticket on GitHub. And see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.